Oh my gosh, I'm so whited out. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see me. Oh, I guess that's okay. Hi, everybody. I'm in Spain, and I've been wanting to do a little video for you guys for a bit, but I, uh, combining Wi-Fi <laughs> with a few minutes to um, present to you has been a little complicated. I mean, as it is, Spaniards could be walking by at any time, so there's that. Um, today we're going to talk about, I just finished doing the Camino de Santiago, a small portion of it, just six days, but we were still walking like 20 to 25 kilometers a day, and at the end of that, needless to say, our bodies were very, 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 very sore. And so I wanted to do a little presentation of um, something I brought with me, two things actually, that have absolutely saved us. So I am going to just go ahead because I'm going to keep this nice and short. And uh, just for reference, we're in Santiago. We finished our Camino yesterday and walked through the gate into the city and it was so wonderful. If you're thinking at all of doing a Camino, it's incredible. It is well worth all the effort in planning and making it happen. So let that be my recommendation to you. We head home in a few days um, and between now and then it's just sightseeing. So no more getting up at early dawn in the morning and heading out with our backpacks to walk for miles and miles and miles. It was incredible though, but I'm also looking forward to the sightseeing piece as well. So let's get to it. So there are two things I brought on my trip to use to help iron out the wrinkles after a very long walk and they have been absolutely uh, two of the best things I brought with me, to be honest, because I started with shin splints right away it, uh, on the walk. I had not prepared properly. I had worked out really hard, but I hadn't done as many long walks as I should have. So first day out, shin splints, left ankle, both hips were really bothering me. And as an arthritis sufferer, it's worrisome because uh, my stuff doesn't calm down as quickly as a lot of other folks. And so I was really worried because I still had five days left. So thankfully, I brought two things. The first is a lacrosse ball. And this has been absolutely amazing. You can fit this into any nook or cranny, shoulder blade, back of the shoulders, out into the hips, and roll it around on whatever area you want to work to help work out the kinks and it's incredible. So how you use it is you put direct pressure into the muscle, not on the bone, and you can either keep the pressure sustained or you can roll it back and forth to sort of you know, work over the little adhesions that might be forming in that area that need to be worked out to also, when you direct compress, you're sending a little reflex loop back to the spinal cord saying, hey, relax, 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 and it helps that muscle let go. And so I will roll all over the floor with this. Like I said, in my hips, I will go into my back rib cage, in between my shoulders, and again, you want to stay off the bone. You do not want to roll over the bone at all. That would be very uncomfortable. And I like to stay within the trolley tracks of the spine. So just like a half inch outside, either spine up and down there, into shoulder blade, okay? Hips really good through here. Now, the ball and the socket of the hip, you don't want to be right on top of that. You want to circle it. I call it circling the dragon. You circle those tight hips. The glute muscles, the piriformis muscles, works really great. And again, it's the same thing there. It's direct pressure for up to 30 seconds. Then you can also roll it around a little bit, as long as you're not rolling over bone. But both can be really, really helpful. Now, of course, you want to be stretching as well. But with this next tool, they actually did a study, and they took marathoners, and they had them use this instrument before and after their marathon. marathon. <laughs> starting to sound Galatian. All of their um, C's and S's are THs, so it's Galatia. It's, so um, we've been working on our Spanish here, so uh, I, I'll, I might try shooting a little bit out for you at the end, so stay tuned. With the tool I'm talking about next, marathoners 
used it before and after their event. Then they had a next group of marathoners that just did stretching before and after. And the actual results were that the marathoners that didn't stretch but used this instrument that I'm going to show you did better. Less injuries, faster times, quicker recovery. And so uh, lacrosse ball going down and we have the stick. And many of you may have seen this before, maybe not sure how to use it, but I took up prime packing space for this baby because I know its importance. So how you use it is you grasp both ends. This is a travel size, and I'll put the link to this one. You can get them longer, you can get them firmer, softer, whatever works. But just know that utilizing it helps increase blood flow, break up adhesions, and reduce muscle spasming. So it's perfect. So I started using it actually before each day we started our walk and after. And any time I had sore muscles, I would use it again. And as long as you don't roll over the bone or put too, too much pressure on, you really can't overdo it. So, for example, on my shin splints, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this or not, but leg up and you grasp it and on the outside of the shin, where your tibialis anterior is, that's where you're going to roll. And you just, you kind of roll it and scrub it, kind of like that. And when you find the sore spot, you just sort of roll over it. You can also use a rolling pin. I have had patients do that, but this really is effective because it has these little white things in the middle that just allow you to get deeper and more specific. So you can do your shins, your quads, your hamstrings, the insides of your legs. You can do your hips a little bit, although I think the lacrosse ball is better. You can, I've even just on my forearms, just done this when my forearms are sore. Um, you can even just on your shoulders, you can grasp it behind your back and do your glute muscles. So there's lots of areas that you can work on. So after these long walks that we did here on the Camino, I use the stick, I use the lacrosse ball. One other thing with the lacrosse ball, feet. It was like the best thing in the whole world, really. Socks and shoes off, get this under the arch of your foot, roll it back and forth throughout the whole arch, really try to spread those toes apart with it and you know two or three minutes on each foot your feet it hurts like crazy but your feet feel like new and it works really really great so if you're training for any kind of event or you are planning to do some kind of big hike or if just after your workouts you're a little extra sore use the lacrosse ball on your feet and on the little bits that are harder to get to than this and then you can also use the stick on the longer muscles, the quads, hamstrings, calf muscles, um, and all of those. So, from Santiago, Spain, that's where I am, I just wanted to go through lacrosse ball and stick with you as a way for you to help keep your muscles a little more loose so you don't have to pull back on your workouts. This is great to use every day. And I will put some links below. The lacrosse balls I got on Amazon, the stick I got on Amazon, I'll put both those links below. And I hope you found this useful. So, from Santiago, Spain, buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches, depending on where you are. And we'll be home real shortly. Okay, bye-bye.